Okay, we're about to start a class. So there are two minutes. Um, good evening, Floor. Thank you for joining us. Good evening, uh, Carla. Thank you for joining us. Just, uh, we are going to wait two minutes. There are two minutes before 8 p.m. to start a class. Okay, guys, good evening, Carla, good evening, Floor. Uh, we're going to start the class. And um, today is his video conferencia number seven. We're going to talk about the simple present information question. How we do uh, construct a WH question or information question in order just to uh, ask those questions are for more information, no yes, no no. So we um, ask those kind of questions. Okay, um, thank you Wendy, just for joining us. And uh, what we're going to do right now, we go over to the class objective. We have at the end of the class, a student will be uh, able to introduce personnel mm -hmm. providing information um, about their position by asking a simple present information questions. Okay, so we have the agenda here and we have the warm up. We're going to recall the previous learning. Uh, we're going to have a discussion and conversation mm -hmm. practice. And also we are going uh, to uh, make a role play uh, we're going to go over to the simple present information questions. Uh, we have the company's event and uh, the wrap up, which is the review. Okay, so we're going to start with the warm up as of now, because you are uh, just three um, of you has entered in the, in the class. So we're going to make a little review what we have done yesterday what vocabulary we learn, and uh, um, you need to give a brief explanation about that. Since Floor and Wendy uh, were in the, uh, here yesterday, so uh, we're going to make a little review and about this part. I will just uh, share the information that we uh, cover yesterday. Okay, we'll share the sh page that we saw. Let me know when you can see the screen. Do you see it, Lavin? Yes. Okay, 
yesterday uh, we were talking about um, some uh, questions. Oh, we just discussed these questions, right? How often do you attend? Um, oh, do you attend often seminars? Could be no seminars, but trainings. Remember, trainings uh, could be one. Um, this class is a training. So and if it's easy to socialize in those kind of training or seminars. We were talking about the events, the workplace events. Remember when you go to a training? So probably uh, most of the time uh, the company choose uh, in support training. And that is an open uh, course. What means open course? That means that um, different people from different uh, companies uh, take that course, okay? Diferentes personas de diferentes compañías toman el curso en uno solo. Entonces, probablemente ustedes no se conocen, probablemente hagan la misma función en cada una de las empresas, pero ¿cómo socializamos? How do you socialize? That is easy to socialize in those kind of events. Yes or no? We were discussing those questions, right? And uh, also, uh, one of the important questions was this one. How do you usually break the ice? Okay, what means break the ice? When you start a conversation, that means break the ice. Okay, for example, some people said, thank you for joining us, Oscar. Uh, some people says that um, they talking about the weather. They they talking about the environment, okay, of the seminar or the training is taking place. Probably uh, some people uh, start a conversation like family, okay, or um, something like, hey, um, what's your name? Just go directly to the point straight up, go to the point. Okay, so we discussed these questions as a summary. Okay, also we practice the conversation. There were some uh, uh, new vocabulary like this one, headquarters is the main office. Okay, is the main office. And branch, what is a branch? It's a little store that the main office has or it's a mini office that the main office has. For example, we were talking about a panadería El Rosario. No es que le esté dando publicidad, sino es un buen ejemplo. Okay, uh, we were talking about that, the panadería El Rosario has the main office or the headquarters in uh, La Colonia Sacamil, right? And the branch is the different store that this um, panaderia has, or bakery store has in different parts of the country. For example, there are Panaderia El Rosario in Plaza Mundo. Thank you for joining us, Julia. Uh, there is a uh, Panaderia El Rosario in La Sacamil. There is Panaderia El Rosario in, um, in Plaza Merliot in some different places. So that is a branch. Okay, they were talking about a company which is as, as in excess, oh, in this case, excuse me, in X. And uh, they were talking about the headquarters, which is this one. And uh, they're talking about the branch. Okay, so I don't know if you have any question regarding this. Alguna pregunta? Sobre lo que estuvimos viendo, Wendy, Flor, Carla, Julia. No, okay, no. not yet. Okay, very good. So we're going to move on uh, to this part. Okay, so we were talking about companies. Okay, so what are the companies? We have the branches and we have the headquarters. Let's do this together. For example, what company could we add here? ¿Qué compañía podemos agregar acá? Sí. 
Yes. ¿Qué compañía podemos agregar? Una compañía nacional. No nos vayamos. O puede ser una compañía, la compañía que ustedes trabajan. There's not a problem. I have a question. Yes. Uh, for example, era a uh, uh, pirámide. At the is, pyramid, uh, uh huh. Uh -huh. uh, is the owner of, um, I think, uh, Tony Romas. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, a, it's a restaurant. Tony Romas, um, Paradise. I think, um, I don't know, I'm not sure, but I think um, Benigans, but I'm not sure. But, uh, but it's a company with branch. With branches, okay, uh -huh. Grupo Pirámide. Uh -huh. Grupo Pirámide is the company, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, yes. Grupo Pirámide. Okay. So we have the branch. You told me the branch should be uh, Tony Romas. Tony Romas. We're going Paradise, to here. I think. Tony Romas. Paradise. Mm -hmm. And uh, also Benigans, right? I don't. No. I'm not sure. I don't know. Okay, let's do it. Uh, Tony Romas and Paradise. Okay. Also remember. Uh, Tony Romas has different, this, this should be, um, this should be the company, okay? This company is managed by Grupo Pyramide, okay? Mm -hmm. Company is a branch. I mean, uh, Tony Romas is a branch, Paradas is a branch. These companies has sub-branches, in this case, different places where the Tony Romans is located, also where Paradise is located, right? So the headquarters, where is the headquarters? Where is Grupo Pyramide? In Zona Rosa. Zona Rosa, okay. Zona Rosa. Okay, if you see, we have Grupo Pyramide, which is the company, we have the branches, Tony Roma's Paradise, and some other restaurants in this case. And uh, the headquarters is in Zona Rosa. Okay, give me another example for this. Give me a company. Okay, let's talk about, yes. Okay, let's talk about the Pizza Hut. Okay, the Pizza Hut. Branches, we have many branches. So some of them uh, could be, uh, for example, Metro Centro. Eh, Boulevard del Ejército, I mean, uh, no, it means Boulevard, yes, Boulevard del Ejército, and there, Plaza Mundo, in Plaza Mundo there is one, Plaza Mundo, and etc. right? Okay, where is the headquarters? The headquarters for this one is in Chiltupan. Where is Chiltupan? Chiltupan is in uh, Merliot, right? In front of the headquarters of this uh, company, the Pizza Hut is in front of the Plaza Merliot. Okay, that is the Chiltupan um, uh, headquarters. Very good. Now, do you get uh, regarding branches and, and headquarters, the difference between them? Do you get that? Wendy? Do you get the point? Yes. Okay, very good. Flor, do you get the point? Yes? 
Okay, very good. Okay. Now, what we're going to do right now, we're going to move uh, to this part. Let me just to erase this one. Okay. We are going to move to this part. What we're going to do is we're going to work in pairs. Okay, right now we're going to work in pairs. Okay, Flor is going to work with Carla and Wendy is going to work with Julia. So what we're going to do is you need to match these um, companies of these services with the description, with the product or service they provide. Thank you for joining us, Tatiana. Good evening. With the um, description of product or service they provide. For example, banks. What is that? What is the product or service they provide? They are in the. Yes, Carla? The finance industry. Okay, very good. We're talking about the finance industry. Okay, very good. So I'm going to make the groups and uh, you're going to work in pairs in one group of three. Let me just to ensure this one. And I will going to make the groups right now. Okay, we're talking about Flor and Carla. You're going to, and then uh, we're talking about Julia, Tatiana, and Wendy. Okay, so let's work in and appears in one group of three. le oye, ¿verdad? Jenny, ahorita está, ahorita está en silencio, Jenny. Ahorita se oye bien lejos. Se escucha lejos. Se y a Flor solo le veo la frente. Es que si yo bajo la computadora, me queda la computadora inclinada. Entonces ah. tengo que, ajá. Entonces, si la pongo recta, tengo que tener una silla más alta. Okay, Jenny, good evening. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we, um, we are going uh, to practice, uh, we're going to develop the exercise five on page number 20. You need to match the description with, you don't hear no, us, oye. no escucha. O si escucha, pero no se le escucha a ella. Okay, uh -huh. vamos a ver, a mandarle un mensaje. Bueno, ustedes, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Empieza, ok, ya salió, voy a volver a entrar. Entonces, ustedes empiecen sí. con la actividad mientras yo me muevo al otro grupo. Please. Ok, muy bien. Thank you. Bien, Flor. Eh. Ah, el cuadrito que tenía ahí en la pantalla, ¿verdad? Ah, sí. Ajá. Ya, ya lo tengo. A ese, ese. Uh -huh. Acá está el ejemplo de uno, ¿verdad? Sí, ahí hay un ejemplo. Ajá, en el E es la, la respuesta a la 1. Vamos a ver en el A sería... De Vaya, dice que eh, el 1 va con la E. Sí. 
que es el ejemplo sí. que está ahí. Sí. Ajá. Ok, las dos bebidas. Bebidas suaves. Soft drinks son las, eh, puede ser las que no tienen alcohol. Ah. Um, son los jugos, de juice, water. ¿Qué, qué, ¿Cuál dijo, teacher? Son las soft drinks, son las bebidas no alcohólicas. Ah. Eh, teacher, ¿qué, ¿qué es en el literal H? Beber, beverage, beverage es bebida. Entonces es esa. That's correct. Very yeah. good. Entonces sería la dos con la H. Eh, H. One, two, H. Okay. Y ahí la sería. Three. Eh, guía turístico sería la I. La I. Literal I. Sí. Mm -hmm. Sí. La I. Very good. Continue, I. please. I will go eh, to the next. Four. ¿Será la G? Sí, esa es. Packaging Inches. Esa es. Sí, cuando una vez. Ok. ¿En qué están? Buenas noches. Good evening. Estamos en, um, en digamos, en el, en el libro. ¿Usted tiene el libro en el PDF? Sí. Sí, en la página 20. Ok. Exercise 5. Vamos a ver, exercise 5, 20. Uh -huh. Ok, aquí lo tengo. Entonces estamos haciendo el cuadro, estamos haciendo las parejas. Ok, vamos a como a mash, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ajá. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Soft drink. ¿Por dónde van? ¿Por qué número? La 8. En la 8. Uy, ya van avanzados. Hágase la 8, Jenny. Vamos a ver, Carl. Esas son. Ya estuvo, teacher. Ok, you finish. Very good. Yes. Just, uh, I will, we can move on uh, to the main, uh, um, to the main room. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, very good. So, some of you probably didn't uh, finish, but let me, we are going to go over to this one. Now we said that banks goes to the, uh, the finance industry, right? Okay, now, soft drinks. What is soft drinks, volunteer? Volunteer for number two, soft drinks. Uh, Tatiana tiene, uh, you are in mute. It's letter H. Okay, letter H is? The beverage, beverage uh -huh. industry. The beverage industry, very beverage. good. Now, guide tours. Julia, what do you have for guide tours? Tiene el micrófono apagado. You are in mute. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, is uh, the tourist, tourist industry? Very good, the tourist industry. industry. Very industry. good. Wendy, what do you have for number four? Cardboard boxes. You are in mute. Okay. Probably she got disconnected. Okay, Carla, what do you have for number four? Uh, is the packaging industry. Packaging industry, very good. That is number four. Okay, Floor, number five. The communication industry. 
the number five buildings is the constructions industry because talking about the buildings right is the constructions ah, perdón, industry it's, 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 don't worry that's fine okay carla i mean wendy i'm sorry for number six mobile phones the finance industry the mobile phones number six is letter d right the telecommunications industry okay that is number six number seven um jenny jenny got disconnected um medicine okay it will be the medicine it will be letter j uh-huh the pharmaceutical industry very good, the pharmaceutical industry. Industry. Very good. Thank you. Okay, number eight. Julia, what do you have for number eight? Car components. Is it the, the automo automotive? The automotive, automotive. Automotive. Uh -huh. industry. industry, very good. Now, hair salon services, number nine, a floor. La diez, ¿verdad? Nine, number nine. Nueve. Here is Salon Services. Perdón. Uh -huh. Don't worry. The beauty and personal care industry. Okay, the beauty and personal care industry. And number uh, 10, uh, uh, Carla. Uh, see, the textile, the textile industry. Very good, the textile industry. Very good. Okay, do you have any question regarding this? The, um, the industry type and the description of the service or product they provide, right? Now we move on uh, to page number, or oh, let me just go and uh, share this one. Okay, we move on to the next activity. Let me just share this part. Let me know when you can see the screen. You see it? Yes. Okay, very good. So we completed the warm up or recall previous learning uh, some of the topics of that specific part that we covered a little while ago. Uh, we didn't cover yesterday, but we may get into the review. Okay, so we move on to the next activity. We go to the discussion and conversation practice. So first of all, you need to discuss only activity number one, the let's start questions. Okay, in groups, we're going to make groups in this. After that, we are going to share your opinions with the whole class. Then uh, we go to the conversation and practice the conversation in page number 21. Okay, let's move on to the conversation, in this case to the textbook. Teacher. Yes. Sorry, I'm late. But okay. What yes. is the exercise? Why? Don't worry, Sergio. Good evening. Uh, we're moving uh, to page 21 on on the textbook. I will share the screen right now. Okay. okay. Let me just, okay, we have it here. Let me know where you can see this. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, we're going to go over to this one. Okay. These questions. Do you usually receive business guests in your workplace? Do you enjoy welcoming guests and why? Okay, if it's yes, why? If it's no, why not? Okay, so we're going to uh, work in groups. Let me just to work on that. We're going to make two groups.
Okay, we're going to make two groups and uh, we're going uh, to discuss those questions only. Solo esas dos preguntas. And I will give you five minutes. Okay, let's do this. Sería, pues dice, ¿recibes tu invitación de invitaciones? Recibí una invitación de... ¿About what? No. Invitación yo, about what? Ahorita vamos a ver, pero me quedé... No, es, es, no esa pre le pregunta que si usted recibe invitados en su lugar de trabajo. Yes. Pero, pero no invitados, sino que... Como Clients. Que ajá, ajá, ajá. That's correct. Para, sí. Ok, thank you. <risa> y bueno. luego le pregunta que si le, si le, que usted le disfruta la... recibirlo. ¿Ah? Sí. Do you enjoy? La... ¿Y por qué? ¿Qué teacher está ahí? Yes, yes, I'm here. Esa esa palabra quest. Yes. Business quest. ¿Qué sí. en español exactamente? Okay, the business guests most of the time are those people. Um, who visit the company in order to invest, para poder invertir. Probablemente son socios potenciales a la compañía. O when a business get together, fusion that business with another one. O cuando una compañía compra otra compañía. O sea, ellos van a ver las instalaciones, they see the, the facilities, they see the the environment, how they work, the people that work for that company, how do they work for that company. Entonces, más que todo es, eh, son socios potenciales a unirse a esa compañía. O cuando otra compañía viene a comprar, a absorber a esa compañía que está visitando. Ok, okay teacher. Ok. Thank you. Entonces, vamos a dar continuación a las preguntas. En mi caso, sí recibo personas. Soy reclutadora, entonces. Ah, sí. Entonces, diferente. No, es diferente, no recibo personas para negocios. ¿verdad? No sé, Wendy. ¿Cuál es más? Sí, entonces ahí la respuesta para ambas sería no hay no no hay no no hay no hay no no hay no no hay no hay no 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 recibimos a nadie, no sabemos, o sea, si no gusta o no Okay, don't worry about that. Okay, so just give you two more minutes and okay. then we go to the main room. Okay. Sería yes, I enjoy, ¿verdad? Yes, I enjoy. Yes, I enjoy. I enjoy. Luis, contra Enjoy. Yes, I enjoy. No enjoying. Enjoying, no. Enjoy. I enjoy. Mm -hmm. It. Enjoy it. Together, enjoy oh. it. Because. ¿Por qué se disfruta? Flor, Sergio. Carla. Why? In my case, in my workplace, I usually recite a lot of people to, 
In a bank. Where? Which one? I'm a bank seller. Ah, okay. So, wait, why? Do you enjoy the, <laughs> do you enjoy the working west? Hola, Sergio. Se quedó paralizado. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Um, the time is up. We move on to the main room and then we'll discuss the questions. Let's go to that. Okay, yes, we are all in the main room. Okay, guys, so some of you probably uh, does not apply um, these questions on a um, base of the duties you develop on the company, but uh, we're going to go over to those questions. First question is, do you usually receive business guests in your workplace? Volunteers to answer this question. Volunteers to us uh, to answer the question. Sergio. Yeah. In, in my workplace, I usually recite a lot of people to invest because I work in a bank. You work for a bank, so uh, you receive uh, many people. Uh, many people um, asking for that, right? Okay. Very good. Okay, do you enjoy welcome guests and why? Um, you enjoy it? So, so? Or no, you don't like it? <laughs> you like it? Sí, porque me pagan. <laughs> okay, you lie because you receive money, right? <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, what about you, Jenny? The first question? The yes, question? the first question. Mm, yes, always receive business ways in my, my workplace. Okay, very good. And um, do you enjoy welcoming a guest? Yes, I, I enjoy. Why? Because my job is solving, solving? Solve. Solventar or solucionar, solve solve. Uh, legal problems. Okay, very good. My company. So that is the reason why you like that. Very good. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. Carla, what about you? Um, no, I don't. I don't recite business guests, but uh, every day we recite um, different people. Okay, every day you receive different receive, people. Receive. Yeah. Very good. You receive different people, but you don't like to. No. I like. In. You like. Okay. No. Very good. Mm -hmm. no, I, okay. No. Uh -huh. You enjoy it. I okay. Like. Very good. Mm -hmm. Julia, what about you? Uh, I I don't because uh, I work in a school. Oh, you work in a school? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay, you don't. That's why I'm saying um, some in some uh, people these questions don't apply. Floor, I mean uh, Tatiana. Excuse me. Um, no, I don't. Uh, recite uh, business guests because my job is este, my is recruitment analyst. Okay, you are recruitment yes. recruitment analyst. You are for HR. Uh -huh. You work for HR, human resources, right? Yes. Okay, yes. very good. Wendy, what about you? Uh, no, I don't 
my work play people I want. Okay, so you don't receive, um, in this case, so you don't receive any business guests based on the, your duties. Very good. Floor, what about you? Yes, I always receive business guests in my workplace. You always receive. Do you enjoy welcoming them? Yes. Why? No sé cómo decirse en inglés. Say it. Say in español. Say in Spanish. Porque estoy en atención al cliente para empresas y me gusta atender. Okay, you can say I am. Debería ayudarles. Very good. You can say I am in the customer service department and I like to help people. You can say that. Very good. Yes. Okay, welcome Hoyle to the class. Good evening. Good night, teacher. Good evening. Okay, very good. Okay, right now we move on uh, to the conversation we have on the same page, page 21. And let's move on uh, to this part. I will share the screen. Let me know when you see it. Yes. You can see it. Okay, very good. Okay, if you see the screen, we're talking about, there is a conversation between Miss Tate and Mr. Young. Okay, they're talking about uh, some uh, um, regarding the trainer, okay, and uh, some uh, things in the in the company. So basically some duties in the company. Now we go to this part. Mm -hmm. Let me just to move on to this. Okay, the use of personnel with use mm -hmm. with plural verbs. And we use a staff followed by a singular or a plural verb. Okay, for example, all personnel are this is the plural verb. Train to provide first aid. The personnel at the plant are certified. Okay, if you see, we use with our personnel, we use with plural verbs. And as staff, we use it with singular or plural verb. For example, the staff work 40 hours a week or the staff works 40 hours a week. Our kitchen staff follow the Ministry of Health Regulations. Our kitchen staff follows the Ministry of Health Regulations. Okay, so in this case, remember, we use the staff with singular and plural, and personal only will plural. Okay, be um, going to that, we move to this part. Okay, so we go, I'm going to go over to the conversation and then we're going to practice together. Okay, hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Young? Yes, I am. I'm Miss Tate, I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's the branch manager and this is Leo. Welcome, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of kitchen staff. Great. Uh, Mr. Yon, what does, girl, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa, she's in charge of purchases. Okay, do you have any question regarding vocabulary? ¿Alguna pregunta sobre uh, vocabulario? Tal vez salir de la duda, charge es como cargar. In charge es aquí en este caso, acuérdense que todo idioma es basado en el contexto. Correct. En este caso se refiere a encargado. I am in charge of the kitchen staff. Estoy, Ajá, soy correct. el encargado 
de, de, la, de la gente de, de, la, de la cocina. Ajá. Así es. Ok, charge es un cargo. Un cargo puede ser monetario, puede ser charge the battery, cargar la batería. So there are different meanings in different contexts. But in this context is estar encargado de, in charge of. Y purchases. Purchases son las compras. Okay. Any other um, question regarding vocabulary? No? Okay. No, teacher. Let's practice this. Please repeat everybody. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Yon? Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Are John? You Mr. John? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm Miss Tate. I'm Miss Tate. Tate. I'm the trainer. I'm, I'm the, the trainer. trainer. Nice to meet you. <coughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. This is Mario. He's the branch manager and this is Leo. He is the branch manager and this is Leo. Welcome, nice to meet you. Welcome, nice to meet you. Uh, uh, nice meeting you, Mario. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. Nice to meet you, Nice Leo. to meet you, Leo. What do you do? What, what do, do you do? do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. Nice, nice to meet you. I'm in charge I'm in of the kitchen staff. Great. Great. Uh, Mr. Yon, what does the girl over there do? Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa. She's in charge of purchases. She's Nisa. She's in charge of purchases. Very good. So now what we're going to do, I'm Mr. Miss Tate and you are Mr. Yon. Okay. Hello. Good morning. Are you Mr. Yon? Yes, I am. I'm in state. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Miss state. Let me introduce, Let me introduce the staff. you the staff. This is this Mario. Is Mario. He is the He's branch, the branch manager, manager. And this is Leo. Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice. Nice to nice meet, meet you, you. Mario. Mario. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you, Leo. Leo. What do, what you, do like you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of kitchen staff. Great. Um, so John, so John, what does it over do? Two. Okay, remember, it's two. She's Nisa. She's in charge of purchases. Okay, now we are going to reverse roles. Okay, you are Miss Tate and I'm Mr. John. One, two, three. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Are you Mr. You Mr. John? John? Yes, I am. I'm Mrs. Hey, Tate. I'm the, I'm, the I'm the trainer. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's the branch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome. Welcome. Nice, to nice, to nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to, nice nice to, to meet, meet you. you. I, I am in charge the of the chicken. Staff. Great. Uh, Mr. Yon, what does that girl over there do? She's, She's Nisa. Nisa. She's in charge of the purchases. Very good. Okay, now um, Jenny and Sergio. Sergio, um, Jenny uh, will be Miss Tate and Sergio, Mr. Yon. Okay. okay. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Yon? Yes, I am. I uh, I miss Tay. I'm training. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's the branch manager in this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. 
Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I am in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mr. Young, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa, in charge of the porches. Purchases. Purchases. Very good. Dice, pero aquí se incluyen dos personas más. Mario yes. and, and Leo. Don't worry oh, about no. that. So we're going to move on. To, only we're going to do in pairs. Okay, Carla and Julia. Carla, we're going. To, you're going to start, and uh, Julia, you you're next. Um. Hello. Good morning. Are you Mr. Young? Yes, I am. I'm Miss Dave. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's the branch manager and this is Leo. Welcome, nice to meet you. Um, nice meeting you, uh, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the, of the, of the kitchen staff. Great. Uh, Mr. John, what does, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa. She's in charge of purchase. Purchases. 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 Very good. Okay, Tatiana and Flor, please. Uh, hello, good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. I miss it. I miss state. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's the branch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mr. John, what does, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa. She's in charge of purchases. Purchases. Okay, very good. Okay, um, we have um, Joel and Wendy. When do you start? Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. I am Mr. Ray. I am the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He is the branch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm Sir. I'm, <laughs> I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. I'm in charge. I'm in charge. Charge of the kitchen, the kitchen, kitchen staff. staff. Very good. Okay. Great. Great, Mr. Young. What does the girl over there do? She's she's nice. She's in charge charge of purchases. Very good. She's in charge of purchases. Very good. Okay. Good evening, Carlos. Thank you for joining us to the class. Okay. Very good. Okay. Do you have any question regarding this, guys? Hay alguna pregunta sobre el vocabulario o la conversación? Porque ahorita vamos a responder esas preguntas que están ahí juntos para que podamos entender un poco la gramática que viene después de este de esta parte. 
you have any question? Uh, teacher. Yes. Cuando dice, what does the girl over there do? Eh, quiere decir que la persona esta va pasando, pero no la presenta, no la incluye en el diálogo. No, eh, en este caso, cuando dice over there, es allá. Ajá. O sea, no está cerca. Probablemente, eh, supongamos que nosotros estamos en la... En, en, el, en, el, en el lobby, por decir algo, en un hotel. Entonces, ella está en la entrada del lobby. No está cerca donde estamos nosotros. Por eso se dice over there. Que over estamos there. apuntando a, lejos donde está ella. Okay. Okay, puede estar a, a este lado, pero no está con nosotros cerca, sino que está alejado del grupo. That's why he okay. says over there. Que no, por eso no participa del... Yes. yes, over here. That's, that's right. Come over here. Vénganse para acá. Okay, you can say that. Very good. Okay. Any other question regarding this? No, okay. Let's complete this part, okay? And uh, um, let me just to take the pointer okay so what is the complete the question what is what is the words that missing here what does mario do very good what does mario do what should be the answer He, he is the branch. branch manager. Okay, he is in charge. And in this case, um, let me see. He is the branch manager. Very good. Yep. He is the branch manager. You're right. Okay, number two. What do you do, Leo? What do, in this, what do you do, Leo? Very good. Mm -hmm. I shall be the answer. I'm in charge of the kitchen stuff. I'm in charge of the kitchen stuff. Very good. Number three. What, what, does, does, Nisa do? what does Nisa do? What does Nisa do? Very good. And uh, what shall be the answer? She is in charge of purchases. She is in charge of purchases. Very good. Do you have any question regarding this? Yes, teacher. Yes. En yeah. el caso, si preguntas con das, puedes responder con is? Eh, it depends. Porque si ponemos acá, what do you do? Eh, podemos responder, I'm in charge. Estoy a cargo. Porque eso es lo que hace. Mm -hmm. Porque es el verbo ser. Estoy a cargo de. Entonces, acuérdense, si es verbo, si es ser o estar, vamos a utilizar el verbo be. Pero si es otro verbo, por ejemplo, uh, what do you do? I, let's say, I print documents. Ahí el verbo cambia porque la acción no es de ser, sino que de un verbo de acción. Ok, por eso es depende. Por eso aquí dice, what do you do, Leo? Y él, y él responde, I'm in charge. Porque está encargado de el, el staff de cocina. Que okay, es de ser en este caso. Ok, very good. Any other question? No. Ok, very good. I will share this one and uh, we're going to move uh, to some vocabulary. Okay, so let's move on to this and I will share this part. Okay, let me know when you, you can see it. Yeah. Okay, if you see we have different vocabulary here. We have uh, from A to P. And what we need to do is we need to match the jobs, OK, 
bucket that we have here with the numbers. But first of all, what we're going to do is listen. We're going to listen each of this one and then we're going to practice it. Okay, listen to this. Me dicen si lo escuchan, si no voy a pararlo para poder eh, configurar lo que lo escuchan. Let's listen. Unit 8. What do you do? Lo escuchan? Yes. Page yes. 50, okay. exercise yes. 1. Word power. Jobs. Part A. Match the jobs with the pictures. Then listen and practice. 1. K. Police officer. 2. O. Taxi driver. 3. P. Vendor. Vendor. 4. J. Plumber. From 5. E. Electrician. Electrician. Six. I. Painter. Seven. H. Office manager. Eight. A. Accountant. L. Receptionist. Ten. F. Front desk clerk. Eleven. B. Bellhop. Twelve. G. Nurse. Nurse. B. Doctor. Fourteen. M. Salesperson. Fifteen. C. Cashier. Sixteen. N. Security guard. Okay, very good. So do you have any questions regarding this vocabulary? Yeah. Bellhop. Bellhop es el, el botones. El mal llamado botones. Yes. <laughs> any other? Yeah, clerk. From this part, F. From this clerk is like the receptionist. La recepcionista. It's like a receptionist, the front desk clerk. From this clerk. Yes. O sea, básicamente es una recepcionista. Eh, más que todo el front desk es en la recepción en muchas compañías, right? Es la primera impresión de la compañía. That's why it's from desk clerk. Any other? Wait. Uh, M, salesperson. M, salesperson. salesperson. El vendedor. Yes. Uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, aquí está front desk clerk mm -hmm. y está receptionist. Mm -hmm. Están ambas y se supone the front, que. The front desk es como una recepcionista, pero más que Ajá. todo es, es la que atiende a. Más que todo es en hoteles. Ah, ok, va, permítame. Desk. From desk clerk, eh, recepcionista en teléfono. Yes. Ok. Bilo, Bill Hop, ¿qué es, Tiche? Bill Hop. Bill Hop. Bill Hop. Ah, botones. Ok. Ok. Le hice una consulta. Y yes. Esta, esta, eh, esta lámina está en la, en la plataforma. No, 
pero la puedo pegar es que, el día sí, de mañana. Sí, como algo choca, no miro, no miro nada. Ok, déjeme ver si la puedo. Lo ve ahí. Lo hice un poquito más grande. No sé si. Lo si puede... la voy a hacer un poquito más grande para poder tomar una captura. Ok, déjeme ver. Lo vamos a arreglar acá. No sé si se puede, lo aprecia bien. O lo hago más grande. Um, no, ahí está bien, permítame, okay. lo voy a dar una captura. Y la que dice front, front, desk, clerk, ¿qué es? Es la, la más que todo es, es parecida a la recepción. Ah, lo que, va. Pero es la que está en el hotel. From the clerk. Solo son 16, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, gracias. Sí. Ok, so let's do this one. What is number one? Letter K, right? Police officer. What about number two? Oh. Taxi driver. Okay, we have the taxi driver. Okay, number three. It's the vendor, very good. Okay, what about number four? Okay, number four is the plumber. Number five. Electric, electrician. Electrician, very good. Electrician, number six. Painter. Painter, very good, number seven. Office manager. Office manager, number eight. Accountant. Accountant, Accountant number nine. Reception is very good. And number ten. Front. Front is clear. Front is clear. Number eleven. Bellhop. Very good. Bellhop. Number twelve. Nurse. Nurse. Thirteen. Service person. Uh, number 13. Ah, this doctor. one. Doctor. doctor. Very good. Yes. Number 14. Service person. Service person. Yes. Number 16. Uh, 15, excuse me. Cashier. Cashier. And number 16. Security guard. Security guard. Very good. Okay. So. Now we're going to do, we are going to move on uh, to the next part. Okay, let me just go to this and I'm going uh, to move on uh, to this conversation. Okay, if you see the question here is what do you do? We're going to hear the, the listen the, the conversation and then we're going to practice together. Okay, listen to this. Page 51, exercise three, conversation. He works in a hotel. Listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk clerk. How does he like it? He hates it. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Okay, very good. Do you have any questions regarding this vocabulary? 
No questions? Everything is okay? Okay, very good. Let's practice this. Where, and we're going to repeat, where does your brother work? Where does your brother work? Repeat. Where does, your, where does your brother work? In a hotel. In a hotel. Oh, really? Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk clerk. He's a front desk clerk. How does he like it? How does he like it? He hates it. He hates it. He hates it. He doesn't like the manager. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. That's too bad. But what hotel what does hotel? he work for? What, what hotel, hotel does, does he work he for? Work for? A plaza. The plaza. The plaza. plaza. That's funny. That's, That's funny. funny. My brother My works brother there, too. there too. My brother works there, there too. too. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, oh that's interesting. interesting. What does he do? What does he do? Actually, 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 he, he's the manager. He's the manager. Okay, that is a funny story, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> because he doesn't like the job because he doesn't like the manager, right? Very good. Okay, so we're going to stop a little while here and I'm going to take attendance. Remember, uh, get cameras on and I say present. Okay, we have Eduardo Antonio, Jenny Quesada Fernandez de Campos. Present. Okay, Sergio, so Sergio Alberto Sorza Santos. Por ahí estaba Sergio, probablemente se desconectó, no le puso. Ah, desde mi timita también. Ah, okay. Okay. okay, Mónica Guadalupe Martínez, José Ernesto Rivera Aderas, Wendy Joana Estrada Escobar. Ahí andaba Wendy también. Um, ahí está, ahí está. Thank you, Wendy. Andrés Oswaldo Ramos Cepeda. Eduardo Alfredo Pérez Rugamas. Tatiana Genoveva de Minero Flores. Tatiana. Ok, qué. Carla Evelyn Meléndez Guzmán. Thank you. Erika Paulina Rivera Llanes. Eh, Maritza Elizabeth Chicas Villalta. Mariela Lourdes Amaya Herrera, Flor Morena Rodríguez de Morales. Present. Thank you very much. Carlos Emilio Contreras Ramos. Tiene mute el micrófono, Carlos. Romero, presente. Oh, Romero, perdón, Romero, yes. I'm sorry for that. Dora Ayala de López, Emma Carolina Araniva Sarabia, Daniel Edgardo Álvarez Hernández. Daniel, por ahí se le ve. Tiene mute. Ok, ahí está. Probablemente no le sirva el sonido. Ena Julia Carolina Monge Rodríguez. Present. Thank you very much. Ok, what we're going to do right now, we're going to practice this one. I'm okay. here, teacher. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Joel. <laughs> Joel, very good. I'm sorry for that, Joel. Okay, now no that worries. you're there. Okay. And uh, we're going to practice the conversation. We're going to start with Jenny and Carla. Jenny, you are Rachel, and Carla, you are Angela. Ready, Carla? Yeah. Where does your brother work? No, no. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's from the square. How does he like it? He hates it. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Very good. Interesting. 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 Very good. Okay, Julia and a floor. Julia will be Rachel and a floor will be Angela. 
Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a in a hotel too. He's from desk clerk. How does he like it? He hate he hates it. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother worked there. My oh, brother worked there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Very good. Very good job, Julian Floor. Okay, now Tatiana and Joel. Tatiana will be Rachel and Joel will be Angela. Okay. What does the brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He is from the street. How does he like it? He hates it. He doesn't like the management. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there. Do. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he is the manager. Okay, very good. Now, Wendy and uh, Carlos. Carlos uh, will be Angela and Wendy will be Rachel. Okay. Um, where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother was in a hotel too. He's a from this club. How does he like it? He, he has it. He don't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The place. The place. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What do he do? Actuality, he's the manager. Very good. That is actually. Actually. Okay, he's the manager. Very good. Okay, actually. do you have any question regarding words, pronunciation regarding this? No. Interesting, ¿verdad? Yes, interest, interesting. 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 Okay. Very good. Okay, we're going to move to the next part. I will share this one. And let me go to this part. Let me see. Okay, I will share the next screen. Okay, we have this part, simple present information questions. Okay, so we're going to do, I'm going to explain at this part Okay, the, how we can uh, create an information question. When uh, do we do this? And, uh, and uh, what is the structure or the grammatical structure that we are going to use in order to make these kind of questions? Okay, so then we're going to, um, we move on uh, to this part. Excuse me, we're going to move to, I'm um, going to give you some exercises and uh, you need to complete these exercises. Okay, so let me share this one and I'm going to move to this part. Okay, so if you see here, um, we're going to move on to this part. Okay, so what we need to do is, first of all, I'm going to give the 
a structure that we use in order just to construct a information question. Remember, we have a WH word. Then uh, we have an auxiliary. Then we have a subject. Then we have a verb. And then uh, we have the complement. Okay, what is that WH word? The WH words are what, who, where, how, when, why. These are the WH words. What, who, where, how, when, why. Also, uh, we can include here, which. Okay, these are the WH words. In this case, where is the auxiliary? We can use do or thus. The subject, it could be any um, subject pronoun or could be a name. Okay, for example, when we use do, let me just put it here. When we use do, we can use with I. You can use with you, we, and they. We can use do, I, you, we, and they. And then when we use thus, he, she, or it. Remember, do we are going to I, you, we, and they, and thus he, she, it. Okay, we have the WH word, the auxiliary, and uh, we use the main verb. Okay, in this case, the verb doesn't change. No vamos a cambiar el verbo. Say play, go, visit, eat, do, okay, etc. And the complement, it will be any other thing. Okay, for example. What does Julia do? And we use the question mark. Okay, what does Julia do? Okay, Julia is a teacher. Or Julia teaches Uh, what is the subject, Julia? What is su materia? La que imparte? Fíjese que estoy en, en la parte académica. Okay, so you are, Julia, ¿qué es lo que hace entonces? What do you do? Mm, eh, registro académico de los estudiantes. Okay, so you are, you are in the registration department. Okay, so Julia and a roll enrolls students. Okay, Julia enrolls students. Okay, in this case, she's not a teacher. Okay, so we are going to erase this part. Okay, so 
For example, it should be another question. Where do Tatiana and Carla work? Why do, why do I use do instead of does? Because I'm talking about another person. In this case, I'm talking about two people. That's why I'm using do. I'm talking about Tatiana and Carla. So the answer could be, they work for a bank. So Tatiana, you work with the Banco de Fomento Agropecuario, right? Yes. And yes. Carla, you work for the same the same bank. Yes. Okay. If you see, yes, they work, okay. You are you're a coworkers. They work for BFA. Okay, Banco de Fomento Agropecuario. If you see, I do I use do here because I'm talking Tatiana and Carla. Tatiana and Carla is the subject, is the subject, okay? And do, in this case, is the auxiliary. Where is the WH word? And at work, in this case, is the complement, is the verb, excuse me. In this case, we don't have a complement. So we can use a... a a question using a complement. For example, where does Jenny, or in this case, we can use do. Where do Jenny and Joel? Está temblando bien fuerte. Really? Solo ahí está tocando. Yes. A ver, a ver. Yes. Ahorita está sintiendo aquí en su Japón. Bien fuerte, sí. bien fuerte. Está temblando fuerte. Yeah, 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 yeah. <risa> ok. Aquí ya lo sentimos en San Miguel también. Bueno, si aquí se sintió también en San Salvador. Ok. Eh, yo creo que ya pasó. Ok, very good. Don't get afraid of that. Ok. So let's continue with this. Where do Jenny and Joel go on? Fridays. If you see where is the WH word, do is the auxiliary, Jenny and Hoyle is the subject, go is the verb, and on Friday is the complement. Is it clear, guys? Está claro? Alguna pregunta? No Para terminar de aclarar, yes. eh, cuando nos referimos a dos personas en específico, eh, se usa el do. Si fuese que, solo puedo decir dos personas, eh, se usaría el das. Si fueran, en este caso, si lo reemplazamos, por ejemplo, en la última, Jenny y Joel. Si lo reemplazamos por un pronombre, ¿por cuál lo reemplazaríamos? Sí, aquí. No, por I, you, we, or they. Uh, we, no, no, they, they, they. They, así es. Entonces, en este caso, en el caso de igual de Tatiana y Carla, se reemplaza por they. Ah, el caso de la pregunta. El tú. Ah, así es. En el caso de la primera pregunta, what does Julia do? En ese caso, se eh, reemplaza por she que estoy hablando nada más de una persona. Ok, solo acuérdense, he, she, it, vamos a utilizar das, we, you, and they, acuérdense, el you es singular y el they es plural. Ok, you singular and you plural. I, we, you, and they, we use do. Only that. Okay, that's why we use das here in Julia. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Clear, Joel? Está claro? 
Yes, it's clear. Okay. Very good. Questions? Y ahorita vamos a, a los ejercicios. No questions? Okay. Very good. Let's move on. Um, let me just... Okay. I will unshare this. And let's move on to this part. Let me see when you see the screen. Yeah, teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, if you see, there is an explanation, a little explanation of how I did it. Okay, we have here that WH word, the auxiliary, the subject, and the verb. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. Okay, how do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a store. What do they do? They're cashiers. How do they like it? They hate it. Okay. If you see, basically are the same question, they are the same question, but in different stages. Okay, now we're going to do, it's complete the conversation and then we're going to practice. Okay, let's do this individually and then I will give you five minutes. Five minutes and then we go over to those and verify if it's correct or not. Okay, let's do that exercise A. Complete the conversation. If you have question, let me know. If you finish, let me know as well.
You have two more minutes. Finish. You finish. Very good. One more minute. Okay, very good. Okay, let's review this one. Let's check if this is right or it is wrong. Okay, number one, what does your sister do? My sister, my sister, she's a nurse. What should be the next question? How does she do it? Uh, okay, very good, Carla. How does she like it? It's difficult, but she loves it. Very good. Let's move on uh, to exercise number two. Where does your brother work? Very good. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. He's a front desk clerk. Oh, what should be the next question? Yes, Tatiana, Tatiana, do you have the answer? Oh, how does he like it? Very good, oh, how does he like it? He doesn't really like it. Very good, number three. Julia, what do you have for number three? What do you have for number three? You don't have it? Okay, very good. Joel, do you have it? And cuál es? Number three. <clears throat> Where do your parents, are they jobs? Are you sure? Mm. Remember, you need to follow this part. Okay, this is structure. This, this, or this. Uh, where do they? Where okay, where? In this case, parents? remember, you need to look the, the answer. Oh, I guess they like them. Okay, so in this case. How do your parents like their jokes? Very good. Okay, how wow. do your parents like their jobs? Okay, we need to go in this case, in, uh -huh. this, in this one. Oh, I guess they like them. Next question. Carlos, do you have the question for that? I don't know, teacher. Okay, good, no problem. Carla? Uh, I, I don't remember, where do they work? Okay, very good. I don't remember. Where do they work? In an office in the city. Number four. Wendy, do you have number four? Wendy, you are in mute. Está con el micrófono apagado. ¿No la tiene? No. No. Don't worry about that. Okay, Jenny, do you have number four? What do you do? What do you do? I'm a student. Well, do you have number, next question? Um, how, the, how do you like 
your class. Very good. I see. How do you like your classes? Uh -huh. They great. I like them a lot. Very good job, guys. So, do you have questions about this? Preguntas sobre cómo estructurar una yes, una information question in simple present. Teacher, no. en, la, yes. en, la, en el párrafo 3, ¿será que me puede repetir los? Aquí, Acá. Oh, ok. How do your parents like their jobs? Their jobs. Yes, how do your parents like? Like. Very good. And the next question, I don't remember where do they work? Gracias. Okay, welcome. Okay, I will share this one. And uh, we move on to the textbook. Okay, so we got to this part and I will share what I need that you, uh, what I need you do. Okay, if you see, there is the, basically that is the same, but there's no explanation than this one. Okay, so what do you do? Most of the time uh, when I say, what do you do? Nos referimos a la profesión que tiene. Okay, what do you do? I'm a teacher. What do you do? I'm a lawyer. What do you do? I'm an engineer. Okay, basically that is the, uh, we answer this question. Now, what departments do you supervise? If you see, what is the WH word? Department is the subject. Do is the, um, um, excuse me, what is uh, the WH word? Do is the auxiliary, you is the subject, and supervise is the uh, verb. What branch does she manage? Where does your company manufacture? What unit do you oversee? Oversee is like this one, supervise. What units do you oversee? It's like the same as supervise. What Some you, similar. Yes, okay. that's basically the same. Who do you report to? Remember when say report to is que nos reportamos. Okay, to ask information question in simple present tense begin with WH phrase or word subject. Followed by the auxiliary plus the verb or subject in this case. In this case, so we use being with that WH phrase followed by the subject. Then uh, we have the verb, and finally we have the verb base form of the verb. Or in this case, we don't use the S or ES at the end. Okay, what I need you to do is complete exercise number six. Let's let's do this exercise in pairs. Okay, I will uh, match the pairs and uh, let me share this. Okay, we're going to go to exercise six only. Only number six. Let's do this. Let's see. Straight. Okay, let's do um, the exercise, please.
Teacher, aquí vamos a armar la, la, la pregunta. Así es. That's right. Okay, if you see uh, number one, uh, we have Marta manages the sales department. Okay, if you see here, I will share the screen. Me dicen cuando la puedan ver. Ya. Yeah. Okay. I will just choose the mouse here. Okay, if you see, this is the sentence. Martha manages the sales department. Okay, the verb you need to use is manage. Okay, remember, acuérdense que para crear una information question, primero va a ir la WH word. Okay, en este caso, what department, okay, then we have the auxiliary. In este caso, does, porque estamos hablando de Martha. Martha will be the subject and manage will be the el verbo. Pero el verbo no va a cambiar, se va a utilizar de la forma normal. Okay. What, the, what department does Martha manage? Now, I supervise the maintenance department. Que sería acá, es... Vamos a utilizar supervise es el verbo. Entonces, si tengo I, ¿qué auxiliar vamos a utilizar? Do. Very good. ¿Cuál sería la WH word? Si estamos hablando, si nos fijamos en la pregunta anterior como un modelo, ¿cómo, qué, pregun ¿qué WH word utilizaríamos? What? Very good. What? Después, ¿qué seguiría? What department? What department? Auxiliar. Do? Ajá, el sujeto. Sería, acuérdense, si está hablando con Carlos, ¿cuál es el, el sujeto de Carlos? El, el subject pronoun de Carlos. Sí. No, porque estamos habla, está hablando usted, Carlos, con Julia. Entonces, si yo estuviera hablando directamente con Julia, si solo Julia y yo estuviéramos hablando de usted, en ese caso, si sería he. Pero como usted y Julia están hablando directamente, entonces sería you. You. Así es. Entonces, Julia le va a hacer la pregunta. What department do you supervise? Okay, mm. Porque se la está diciendo directamente a usted. Do you. Do you. That's correct. What department do you? Así nada más la pregunta. Do you supervise? Ah, supervise. That's correct. Okay, continue with that and I will move on to the other couple. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I supervise. Uh -huh. I supervise the, main the maintenance. 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 Okay, maintenance department. Pero aquí como uh -huh. que le estoy el mantenimiento del departamento. Ajá, uh -huh. eso es lo que él supervisa. That's correct. Uh -huh. Entonces, estamos en la primera teacher y se nos ocurría acá. What department do you supervise? Very good. That's the correct question. Okay. okay. Ya tenemos la primera, la segunda sería. Ahora la What segunda. department? What department do utilizamos en la pregunta? Do you have any question? Mm. No? Todo va muy bien. Ok, very good. 
En ese sería, where do you manufacture? Y la respuesta es, we manufacture in Santa Ana plant. Where do, where do you? You. You. Uh -huh. Where do you? Very good. Uh -huh. Se pronuncia, how do you pronounce? Manufacture? Manufacture, yes. Okay. Y el assemblers. Assemblers. Number four, the assembler report to the supervisor. Ah, the ensambler. Ensamblers son los, eh, básicamente ajá, los, los miembros, los, digamos. Ajá, los ensambladores o las personas ah, que ensamblan las cosas. La, la, ah, la, el ensambler. The ensamblers, ensamblers report to the supervisors. To the supervisor. Yes, thank you. Okay. Masay. Eh, sería what what does no quiero ver sí sí what does ajá uh -huh. uh -huh. what does Douglas uh -huh. do what does Douglas do uh -huh. what does Douglas do Uh -huh. Uh -huh. O sea, teacher, que en estas preguntas el verbo va, digamos, como en presente. Yes, we don't, we don't change. Y no hacemos, y, no, y en la segunda persona no hacemos la diferencia con agregarle la e, s o solo la s. No. Sino que el verbo queda tal cual fuera una, en primera persona. Así es, porque como tenemos el auxiliar, en este caso el do y el das, en el do no hay mucho, no hay problema. O sea, se uh -huh. mantiene siempre. En el das sí. O sea, porque ahí ya, acuérdese si estamos hablando de he o estamos hablando de she, o estamos hablando de it, en uh -huh. una oración afirmativa, utilizamos, le cambiamos el verbo. She teaches, ok, she goes. Uh -huh. O sea, ya en la respuesta sí tenemos que utilizar el verbo. Así es. De acuerdo al sujeto que estamos utilizando. Y así, así es. Él, y estamos diciendo, él trabaja, entonces he works. He works. Ahí sí, porque es una oración. Si es pregunta, el, 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 lo que cambia sustituye el das, el auxiliar. You finish, right? Okay, let's move on uh, to the main room. Okay, very good. Okay, let's move on uh, to the questions and verify if we have those uh, questions correct. Okay, we have number one, uh, Martha manages the sales department. What department does Martha manage? Number two, volunteer. Voluntario por el número dos. Creo que no todos deben ver. Ok, yes. Ok, volunteer for number two. Jenny, can you do number two, please? No, number two, what department do you supervise? Very good. What department do you supervise? Ok, number three. Tatiana, you have number three. Uh, what branch does Claudio oversee? Very good. Uh, Carla, number four, please. 
uh, who do the assembler report to? Very good. And um, uh, Julia, number five, please. You don't have it? Okay, no worries. Um, Carlos, number five, please. Do you have it? Carlos está en, en modo silencio. Carlos Emilio, activate, papá. Ok. Activado. Ok, very good. Number five, do you have it, um, Carlos? No, teacher, no llegamos hasta ahí. Ok, don't worry, that's fine, don't worry. Ok, Wendy, do you have number five? Bang mute, Wendy. Okay, probablemente se congeló la pantalla. Okay, very good. Okay, Joel, number five, please. No, teacher, yo no llegué hasta ahí. En la tercera me quedé. Okay, good, no problem. <coughs> Carla, number five, please. Where do you manufacture? Where do you manufacture? Okay, remember the sentence is, we manufacture in Santa Ana plant. Entonces, si nosotros queremos saber dónde, entonces the question should be, where do you manufacture? Very good. Okay, number six, Jenny, number six, please. What does Douglas do? Okay, very good. What does Douglas do? Very good, guys. Okay, I will just pass attendance, take attendance for the people who didn't say present. Okay, we have Andres uh, Oswaldo, Eduardo Alfredo Perez, tenemos Erika Paulina Rivera, Maritza Elizabeth. Eh, Mariela Lourdes, we have Dora Ayala de Lopez, and Emma Carolina. Okay, very good. Okay, do you have any question? Alguna pregunta? No okay. questions? Okay, so let's move on to the next part. And I will share this one. I will share this part. Okay, so in this case, this should be a homework. Va a ser en parejas. Traten, si tienen el tiempo, traten de ponerse de acuerdo. We're going to create a conversation where to introduce yourself and another member of the staff. You have to use the simple inform, present information question in the correct way. Okay, vamos a hacer una pequeña conversación. Esto va, va, a, dejar, va a quedar como tarea. Eh, no sé, vamos a ver cuántos estamos ahorita. Let me just to see. And I will make the pairs. Okay, eh, Carla. Va a trabajar con Julia. Eh, okay. Solo se ponen de acuerdo, no tiene que ser una conversación extendida. O sea, solo de tratar de utilizar the information questions. Se presentan ustedes, por ejemplo, hello, my name is Frank. Nice to meet you, Julia. Ok, Julia dice, nice to meet you, Frank. My name is Julia. Where do you work? Ok, Julia. I work in, uh, ¿cómo que se llama? Colegio, Julia. Champañat. Okay, I work in the Champañat School. Um, great, Julia. Y Julia me pregunta, where do you work? I work in inglés corporativo. Eh, y después ella me pregunta, what do you do there? Um, I'm a teacher. And you continue that. So, lo que yo necesito es que pongan en práctica las preguntas que hemos, la estructura de las preguntas que hemos estado utilizando. Ok, Carla va a trabajar con Julia, Tatiana va a trabajar con Wendy, eh, 
Jenny Juan Carlos y Joel va a trabajar con Wendy y Tatiana. Porque creo que quiero ver quiénes más están acá. Just let me verify this. Ok, no sé si alguien me hace falta. Todos tienen con quién trabajar ahorita. O sea, no lo vamos a hacer ahorita. Just a simple conversation. Ok. So, now, what we're going to do right now, we go over to this part. Okay, we go over to this part. Okay, let me see here. Okay. Can you see the, um, the screen, right? You yeah. see the screen? Okay, very good. Okay, so we're going to do right now, um, we're supposed to work in groups, but we are going to go over to these questions uh, right now. What do you learn in today's class, guys? ¿Qué aprendimos en la clase de ahora? Practice the simple present. We practice the simple present, very good. What else? ¿Qué más? The structure questions. Okay, we go, we went over to question structures. Okay. Very good. What else? New vocabulary. What new vocabulary did you learn? Interesting. Interesting and very good. What else? Un otro vocabulario, chicos? Purchases, como... Purchases, son las compras. Very good. The purchases. Bellhop. Bellhop. Very good. We just went over to some occupations. Very good, guys. Desk yes, Carla? Front desk clerk. Front desk clerk. Very good. What else? ¿Qué más aprendimos? Acuérdense Bell de Hop. Bell Hop. Very good, Joel. Acuérdense de la estructura de la question, the information question. WH word, we have the auxiliary do or does. We have the, then we have the subject. And uh, um, then we have the uh, main verb. In this case, el verbo no lo cambiamos. Ok, acuérdense de que es, es más fácil hacer las tareas cuando una clase es vista. O sea, no digo que la hagan en este momento, ok, pero traten de hacerla lo más pronto posible el día siguiente para que vayan a, progresando y viendo el progreso que van teniendo en, en sus tareas. También eh, me ayudan a mí para, me facilitan el trabajo para presentar las notas a administración. Eh, también acuérdense, ahora posteé algo en la clase, en el video de la clase de ayer. Tienen que poner eh, la compañía, eh, dónde está la headquarters y la branch. O branches en case uh, haya más de una branch. Ok, y mañana voy a postear, mañana que se suba el video, voy a, a tratar de poner, voy a poner the question, uh, information question, y ustedes tienen que escribir una information question. Ok, sin respuesta, solo la question, solo la pregunta. Ok, guys, do you have any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Alguna duda? No. El número de Carlos Emilio. Ah, ok. Carlos. Eh, claro, solo tal vez unos cinco, seis, seis, ahí, seis. ahí le puede escribir eh, en, en el chat, creo que se pueden. No sé si pueden comunicarse por el chat. Con un nombre llamado Richard Lee en un bar del hotel. 
o se lo manda por mensaje. Por una mujer, ¿cómo lo sabe? Porque los conozco y no estaban discutiendo okay. sobre políticas. Okay. Any question, guys? ¿Alguna pregunta antes de eh, finalizar la clase? Everything's clear like water. Everything is clear like horchata. Like horchata. Very good. Okay, guys. See you tomorrow. Y acuérdense, mañana, eh, mañana les voy a mandar quienes están en schedule para la sesión de uno a uno. Acuérdense, va a ver la clase y después con las personas, mañana voy a, o más tarde les mando los nombres con quienes me voy a quedar después de la de la clase. Acuérdense, son 10 minutos por persona. Ok. Si está más tarde, so acuérdense, solo van a ser 10 minutos en that set. Ok, guys. Thank you for joining to the class, to be in the class. See you tomorrow and have a nice night. Good night, guys. Bye-bye. Take care.